They're not blackberries either. Blue blackberries. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're raspberries crossed with blackberries. Oh, raspberry, blackberry, orgy. <laughs> Why'd you pick this pumpkin? With a big one. <laughs> Snag them off, sure. <laughs> <laughs> So we went to Cabela's, right? We went to Cabela's, which is like my Victoria's Secret. <laughs> and I'm about to show you all my secrets, right? So for Lakers, which are hopeless if you don't have electronics, uh, we got a vertical jig that glows in the dark because maybe they'll see it glow. <laughs> maybe they'll see it. I hope so. I hope so. We got um, the J13 from the J series. We couldn't find the fire tiger color, but who the fuck cares? I caught one on a spoon, I can catch one on this, and we got its little cousin, the J11. Sure. In, a, in a bit of, I would say a better color, but these seven really don't care. Yeah, size comparison, eh? Mm. Sticky sharp, sticky sharp hooks. Um, I say this before I test them out. <laughs> yeah, no, very sticky sharp. Look at that. Jeez. Okay. Um, and then I think we also got some spoons because what is fishing without a spoon? Facts. Rainbow spoon. Oh, cute. Blue Cleo that I've lost about three of. I'm populating Ontario's <laughs> waters with these blue Cleos. More than the MNR stocks, these fish. And uh, a pike killer, salmon killer, mustad hook, America, baby. Quality choice. America. Love it. And uh, a lot of smallies on this guy, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna catch smallies on this guy. Okay, and I might um, have to cut that out if we don't catch any. <laughs> and cheat codes. This is a box of cheat codes. I love it. Called night crawlers. You throw them in, you don't know how to do anything. You just throw them in. Bang! Fish on! <laughs> cheat codes. Love it. We got a box of cheat codes and a bunch of materials and um, some swivels. But uh, you non fishermen don't know what that is tell and me, don't care. Huh? Tell, me huh? Why, tell me why you got the swivels. Because the box broke in the bag and then they all fell. Not that reason. I mean, that, that bag has ones. a dark hole at the bottom. I don't want to know that information. I want to know why those swivels. If something breaks in that bag, it's fucking gone. We lost a J11, we lost a 300 swivels. Google search J11, the size of that thing. It's this. I can't even find it. It's this. We lost this in the abyss of that bag. <laughs> Tell me why those swivels in particular, though. Oh. There's so many different kinds of swivels. Um, so, these are called dual lock swivels. They're just stronger, and there's um, 
zero chance of them bending open because the way they're designed. I don't want to open this because if I spill it, is then I will get in shit. Mm -hmm. okay. How did you get into fishing? What was the first fish you caught? Um, what was the first fish I caught? A creek chub. A creek chub. <laughs> it might have actually been the creek chub. You gotta was put a picture of a creek chub. <laughs> I would. Maybe, maybe it was a creek chub. Maybe it was a sucker. No way you put a sucker or bounty for the creatures. I, I thought I took you creeps by fishing first. I thought I swear the sucker was first. <laughs> okay. So normally I would show you what the other ones look like, but you're just gonna have to take my word. The other ones are like, what are they called? What are they called? Safety pins, I think. Mm -hmm. The ones you push in and then they go under the, under mm -hmm. the metal, under the clip. Sure. And then to open them, you have to squeeze them again and release them from the clip. I believe it. Like, there's a clip and you like push it yeah. in, push it up. That's how the other ones are. This ones, these ones, they go as, you see that little hook point here? You gotta squeeze that, same motion really. But instead of, instead of it being something that you, the whole thing hooks around this, Matter part, and the reason they call it a dual clip is because there's you can open it from either side. That's cool. Yeah, so I can open this side, and I can open this side, and say I want to put like a weight, or I take off the swivel. From here, I close the first one. Oh, I can see shit. I can see it. And uh, and then you put your lure on there. And you close that. Okay. So dual lock, and when a fish pulls, you're not gonna. It's not gonna break. You're not gonna bend that open because okay. it's pulling against it. Anyways. Too. Show the fans. Jeez, he cobbled that up. Cute. You proud? Yeah, that's a nice perch. <laughs> <laughs> On your amazing rod? It, yeah, definitely hands down worst rod and reel I've ever used in my life. Why do you even have it? This thing is garbage. I don't know. I think it was my brother's. Like, <laughs> Same with the most broken equipment. <laughs> I love the real and rod combo. <laughs> Perch. I think it's just full of perch, right? Oh, very gentle removal. This one out, please. You got a perch? Ah! <laughs> nice. Just targeting the crap out of Ooh. chonky little perch. <laughs> That's bigger than uh, Sybil. Really? I think it's bigger than the Sybil. I don't think so. I think that one was huge, but this one's beautiful. Nice. Love it. <laughs> How can you tell it's a perch? <laughs> because it's a perch. <laughs> Just tell the people. Oh, because it's got stripes on it like that and it's got an orange fin at the bottom. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna be using some of these berries and making them into berry crumble bars. It's gonna be awesome. The trick is using the lemon zest when you're making the dough, very crumbly. And then actually squeezing out the rest of the lemon when I'm gonna mix it with my berries. So let's see how that turns out. 
So I'm gonna post my recipe in the description below. I hope you guys like it. I think it's gonna be bomb. If it's not, I'm gonna cut this part out. <laughs> Holy shit. So I've got the triple berry mix in there. Strawberry, raspberry, raspberry crossed with um, blackberry. I squeezed uh, lemon in the berry mix, but then I also grated lemon zest. For all you bakers out there, you know what that is. Just the peels of it. I know it sounds ridiculous, but lemon peel is in the crust. You layer the bottom with crust, stick in the berry in the middle, top of the crust as well, which is just, you know, flour, sugar, vanilla extract, cornstarch, and yeah, the cornstarch, really important ingredient. It gets it all nice and sticky like that and mush. Mm, just look at it. Oh, so soft. <laughs> 